your committee is studying a matter that is close to our hearts the transparency and accountability of our national public broadcaster we would like to provide your committee with our take on the root problem and to offer a policy suggestion to address it unlike the bbc and other national public broadcasters in most other western countries western democracies cbc's governance and senior management structure suffers from an accountability deficit which is built into section 36 of the broadcasting act the governor and council appoints cbc's president its chair and 10 other members of the corporation's board of directors as a result Unlike the standard practice in the private sector, or that of most national public broadcasters in democratic countries, CBC's chief executive officer is effectively accountable to no one. The CBC access to information issue is subsidiary to a larger CBC accountability issue. The solution is to be found in a suggestion of the House of Commons Standing Committee on Canadian Heritage eight years ago. In the interest of fuller accountability and arm's length from government, nominations to the CBC Board should be made by a number of sources, and the CBC President should be hired by and be responsible to the Board. I'd like to conclude, Madam Chair, with uh, the following brief comment. On the morning following the recent general election, Canada's Heritage Minister, James Moore, said, we believe in the national public broadcaster. We have said that we will maintain or increase support for the CBC. That is our platform, and we have said that before, and we will commit to that. Yet, just 10 weeks later, in conversation with Gian Gomeshi on CBC Radio 1's talk show Q, Moore changed his tune, quote, the CBC has to do its part. The idea that CBC can't five, find 5% within the CBC to give back to the broader economic framework, I think, is silly. Of course the CBC will be part of the overall process. I want to draw the committee's attention to the following fact. In 1996, CBC's annual appropriation from the Government of Canada represented 92 cents out of every hundred dollars of federal program spending, net of debt servicing. This year, the federal government's investment in our national public broadcaster is 51 cents out of every hundred dollars of federal program spending. It is clear that CBC has more than prepaid its contribution to deficit reduction. As a watchdog for Canadian programming, Friends is often critical of broadcasters, certainly including CBC's senior management. But in keeping with the vast majority of Canadians, including a substantial majority of supporters of each federal political party, Friends strongly supports CBC's talented employees who actually make the programming that Canadians watch daily. I just don't see why the CBC should be above the law. Um, they seem to think that they are. And I, I, I would think as, as watchdogs that you'd be taking a much stronger position on the actions that the CBC uh, is, uh, is taking uh, in this regard. Um, page 104 of the most recent annual report, which I cannot distribute because I have only a copy in English, uh, just has a sentence on it. It says, uh, CBC Radio Canada Board of Directors is responsible for the oversight of the management of the corporation. In conjunction with the corporation's senior executive team, the board also ensures regulatory requirements, policies related to public accountability, and access to information. Mr. Butt, your government appointed every one of those directors, okay?